Hey guys, how's it going? Back in the shop. Uh, thanks for joining me. So I have some good news. I finally decided what I'm going to do with the Thunderbird. I'm going to head back to my roots and build a big stereo car. Well, not very big, but just enough to make it rumble, I guess. So um, this video, I'm just going to show you what I have for it. So I ended up with a JVC head unit, some Rockford Fosgate 6x8s, some American Vase VFL audio amplifiers, and a big stack of American bass subs. So I'm going to open them all up and show you what I got. So this JVC receiver I got is just a media receiver. So that means it's only going to play Bluetooth or Sirius radio or Apple CarPlay, whatever you got. There's no CD unit in it, so it makes it pretty small. As you can see, it's really short. So, The reason why I bought this JVC head unit was basically because it has three pre-outs and all the pre-outs are five volt. The advantage of a five volt pre-out is it sends a better signal to the amp. So you get less distortion and more clarity. Next up are these uh, Rockford Fosgate R1 6x8s. So the car takes 6x8s in the doors and 6x8s in the rear quarter panels. So about two sets. So right here is a two-way component system. It's got a little tweeter in the middle. It's nice, compact. So these were pretty cheap, which is basically why I bought them. So I picked up two boxes of them. They should sound good. So I got the head unit and door speakers from a place called Sing Electronics. Um, they're a nice online store out of Toronto. So it was uh, fairly quick shipping and good prices. And then I got this American Bass stuff from a shop in Burlington called Radioactive. So let's start with the amps. Uh, the first one here is a VFL Audio Hybrid 150.4. So this amplifier has uh, 75 watts times four for the interior speakers, uh, 150 watts times four peak. It has some really nice connections on it for the wires, no more of those little spade connectors. Uh, everything just plugs right in. Got some uh, crossovers and gains, typical stuff. Nice little amp though, it's not very big. Now our subwoofer amp, it's a VFL Audio Hybrid 4800 by one. So this amp is gonna put out 2400 watts at one ohm, mono. Comes with a bass dial. with a nice little bass knob so like I said this amp is 2400 by one at one ohm stable has giant one aught gauge ground and power connections uh, 10 gauge speaker outputs just gain crossover bass boost low pass filter uh, regular stuff on it but Nice, also a nice little amp. It's only about six and a half by 13, so it doesn't take up much room and puts out a lot of power for the size of it. So now let's get to the subwoofers. All right, guys, these things are, these are the biggest little subwoofers I've ever seen. <laughs> I need two hands for these guys. Hang on. Box inside a box. Very sturdy. Manuals. <laughs> Look at the size of these 8 inch speakers. They're almost square. These are the biggest 8s I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> also, I've never tried 8s. I've had 10 inch speakers, I've had 12s, I had 15s, but never 8s. So I wanted to try them out. Interesting part about these subs is there's no actual speaker leads. There's just, it comes with its own wire. So I guess you just tap into some terminals. Um, these have a two ohm dual voice coil. So I'll wire them in series and then wire four of them in parallel to get me down to one ohm. Just can't get over how big the magnets are on these two and a half inch voice coils. Just massive. 
exceptionally rigid cone. Lots of excursion on it. It's really stiff right now. I'll have to break it in, but just incredible. It's almost a shame to put these in a box. They're pretty cool looking. The only thing that I have an issue with is the manual. It's fairly vague. It doesn't give me a box size or port size. So I found the uh, specs for them online in American base brochure from 2019. Uh, they need one cubic foot each and they're ported. So I'm probably going to port the box for around 35 hertz, I would say, and uh, make a box for all four, about four cubic feet. I also have some kill mat because I think the car is going to rattle. So I bought two boxes of 50 square feet. So I have a hundred square feet of kill mat to put in the car. Um, it's really going to cut down on the rattling and vibrations. I'm sure these are going to shake the car up pretty good. <laughs> um, as for wire, I waited until I had the amps before I bought the wire. So I ordered some uh, one not OFC and some 8-gauge OFC for the power and ground. I've got some uh, OFC speaker cable coming and a couple of distribution blocks and some new RCA cables. So I can't wait to get it in. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Yeah.